Okay. Yeah. No, that makes total sense. Uh, real quick, since I have you on the line, do I still send all of the invoices to, uh, was it billing at CIA.gov? It is. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Um, yep. Got my talking points. Just saw the email. I'll open it up after this phone call. Yeah. I'm ready to do this uh, attack video on Jimmy Dore. I'm really excited. I know that you will like what I come up with. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Okay. All right. Bye. Okay. Make sure you cut here, obviously, and then I'll wait a few seconds and then we'll begin the video uh, right here. Anti-vax conspiracy theorist and right-wing tool, Jimmy Dore, little by little, is letting the mask slip off more and more. And what's funny to me is that people in his vicinity are just going full mask off. For example, Kim Iverson, supposed leftist, just admitted on Twitter that she's voting straight Republican, which I, for one, am incredibly shocked by. I never saw this coming. And it's not like they're even trying to hide the fact that they're doing the bidding of the right. Jimmy Dore, for example, after seeing the right-wing meltdown after Ethan Klein of H3 attacked Joe Rogan, which was hilarious, by the way, I did a video on that, he didn't even bother to come up with some creative response. He literally just swagger-jacked Andy No and called Ethan Ethan, an obese podcaster. I mean, they're not even trying to hide the fact that they're right-wingers now. Uh, but the plausible deniability that they had left is further diminishing, especially now because Jimmy Dore is choosing to attack the least powerful people in the country teachers and trans people. So I have two clips from Jimmy Dore that I wanna play for you. We'll talk about the teachers thing first, but before I show you what he said, I just wanna show you what cable news pundits said about teachers who dared to want to resume remote learning to not get COVID. If you don't wanna teach, don't teach, yeah. quit. It's called live with it, go to work live with it. So that's the message from corporate media being disseminated by their proxies in cable news. And that's what they say. And as you're going to see here, Jimmy Dore is basically going to have the same argument, except ironically, as he repeats cable news talking points, he's going to claim that his opponents, quote, are repeating the propaganda of big pharma funded establishment news. So very funny. Uh, take a look. There's a big debate about whether they should open the schools uh, because of COVID. And because the Omicron is so much more contagious, uh, Omicron, the symptoms of Omicron are very mild and they're like uh, they're like a cold. Um, and a lot of people are saying that's good because that signals the end of the pandemic, because now we're going to become endemic and now it will just circulate. And the symptoms that it will present with are those of a cold, even though it's not. It's the Omicron cold. So everybody's shitting their pants about kids having to go to school are just repeating propaganda from big pharma funded establishment news. Congratulations. Do you know the damage that is done to kids not being socialized in schools? We don't even know. But it's great. And the Chicago Public Schools Teacher Union are so fear mongered. They just voted to end in school, in person school. They are at a higher risk of cont contracting the Omicron cold. Yes, yeah. <laughs> they are at a less risk for right. severe disease. So yeah, you're so what you're saying bad, is yeah. we're using the word risk now to describe the symptoms of a cold. <laughs> so kids are at greater risk of catching something that will present as a cold. Top five Zoe reported uh, symptoms. So, so th this is this is the early London data, right? Most common, runny nose. Second most common, headache. Third most common, fatigue. Sometimes the fatigue was bad. Sometimes it was mild. Fourth most common feature, sneezing. Fifth most common feature, sore throat. The implication is obvious. If you have any of these and uh, you've had colds in the past, you're going to think it's a cold, but it may well not be. It may be an Omicron cold. Need to get tested. So there you have it. That's what people are locking down to avoid that. They think it's to avoid something more deadly. They're misinformed. Why? Because they're getting their information from the establishment. I'll tell you what I think. We should keep them open and kids should be going to schools. Funny, you know who else thinks this? Joe Biden. I wonder if Jimmy Dore is getting his talking points from the DNC. What a shit lib. Shit lib. Now, on a more serious note, it's really easy for someone like Jimmy Dore to say this as he broadcasts remotely from his home studio in his garage.
He wants society to feel normal, so he wants you to go back to work and possibly jeopardize your own health if you're a teacher. It's just incredibly selfish. And there's a number of reasons why resuming remote learning is actually logical and less disruptive. Because if you have so many teachers getting sick and so many of them are staying home, then of course that's going to be disruptive to students. And the teachers who are getting sick, they're out of sick days in many instances. So they're expected to come in while they're positive with COVID, which will obviously expose other people. And that will further exacerbate the issue of hospitals being overrun, which is a real key issue as to why we need not just teachers, but as many people as possible to stay home currently. Because once again, hospitals are being overrun. And this time it may be worse because Omicron, even if it's more mild, is more contagious. So that is leading to more hospital workers getting sick and staying home. It's leading to staffing shortages that are causing more excess deaths than necessary. And going back to teachers, it's not just the teachers who are being selfish here, as many right-wingers will argue. Even the students at Brooklyn Tech walked out in protest of in-person learning because like most reasonable people, they don't want to get sick. And that's not to say that everything that Jimmy Dore said in that clip is wrong. He's right that there are possibly negative effects of doing remote learning. Kids feel isolated. There are social issues, mental health issues, possibly. They need the socialization. But still, this is a temporary measure just to make sure that we don't overrun hospitals. But Jimmy Dore doesn't care about that. If he cared about this, he would advocate for people to get vaccinated. But he's an anti-vaxxer who has been fear-mongering about the vaccines, the one thing that might possibly stop hospitals from being overrun. So it's just all around, he's very selfish. And if you just think about his argument a little bit, it's mild, so just pretend like it doesn't exist. Would you do that if this weren't a pandemic even? I mean, if I were going to go to a birthday party and I knew that one of the other attendees were sick with the cold or a flu, I wouldn't want to go to that. I wouldn't just think, oh, well, the symptoms are mild, so I might as well go. No, I wouldn't want to get sick. I wouldn't want someone to cough on me if they just had the cold. So, I mean, it's just he is really expecting other people to do what he himself wouldn't do. And it's the definition of selfishness. It's the antithesis of being pro-labor. But yet, he's the real leftist. He is the leader of all leftism, and he's the gatekeeper, and he decides who's the most leftist. It's just truly laughable. At this point, if you still think that Jimmy Dore is a left-winger... I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. But moving on to the trans issue. So Patton Oswald is friends with Dave Chappelle and he posted a picture of himself with Dave Chappelle. And then I'm not really sure if he got backlash or pushback. Either way, he felt the need to explain himself and say, even if I'm friends with Dave Chappelle, I don't agree with his anti-trans views. And that's good. I mean, if you are friends with someone and you try to change them, I, I think that's actually admirable. I have no idea. But either way, regardless if Patton Oswald, without pushback, decided to to take it upon himself to explain his position. Jimmy Dore was mad, and he decided to blame trans people for this. Take a look. My only tip uh, would be to the uh, trans community is that maybe, maybe stop turning allies into enemies because it seems like that's, what, that's what's happening in this schedule. But again, I don't know many trans people, so I don't even know what the hell really uh, their thoughts are. All I know is the loudest ones online. It's really ironic to me that Jimmy Dore is scolding other people because they're burning bridges. Hmm. Very, very interesting. So he says here, um, stop turning allies into enemies. Imagine saying this with a straight face to trans people. Hey, I know that your community is viciously targeted by transphobic lawmakers. You're targeted socially and legally and violence against your community is at record highs. But maybe you should shut the fuck up a little bit because I'm kind of tired of hearing about all of your problems. And then maybe, you know, you'll, ha you'll have some more people in your corner. Just shut the fuck up. I'm tired of hearing about it. I mean, imagine saying this to one of the most marginalized groups in society. It's mind boggling to me that anyone can think that that guy is a fucking left winger. I just, I don't know what to say. Now, for those of you who aren't aware, this isn't the first time that Jimmy Dore has vocalized his frustration with members of the LGBTQ plus community. Because remember back in, what was it, 2018, 2019, after Carlos Maza explained how he's been harassed by Steven Crowder with homophobic remarks, calling him a lispy queer for years. This is how Jimmy Dore responded to Carlos Maza. Really? Is this what your complaint? It's not funny. My family sees this shit. Oh, really? Really? Your what about the families of the really? 85,000 kids that have been killed in uh, Yemen? What about those families? Really? Really? 
This guy, what a snowflake this fucking guy is. I'm being bullied, Carlos Maza. So once again, Jimmy Dore chose to side with the oppressor rather than the oppressed. He sided with the harassers and the anti-LGBTQ plus person rather than the LGBTQ plus community themselves. Now, I'm not going to say that Jimmy Dore is homophobic or transphobic. I think he just genuinely is apathetic. I think he just doesn't give a shit. And I learned this the hard way after he tried to use me as his gay friend to evade allegations of homophobia after that clip that we just watched went viral. So this is someone who, once again, purports to be not just the left winger, but one of the most principled leftists on the internet. But yet, every single thing he does, in essence, is in service to the right-wing disinformation machine, is in service to right-wingers. Functionally, at this point, he is a right-winger, even if, deep down, he still has some core leftist values. And people will say, oh, well, he supports Medicare for All. Then why did he abandon it back in 2019 and endorse Tulsi Gabbard even after she moved away from Medicare for All and opted for a system like Australia's where they actually allow private insurance. And as you'll see, if you look at Australia's healthcare system, they're having so many problems because of that. I mean, how can you say this person is a leftist? So why am I showing you this clip? Because I think it is really important that we expose these charlatans who try to occupy leftist spaces when, you know, that's harmful. All they're doing is moving people on the left to the right, tacitly endorsing the idea that Republicans are perhaps better and more principled than Democrats. He doesn't have to say that, but it's implied by constantly attacking the left, constantly attacking Democrats only and not Donald Trump and Republicans. So it's really important that we expose these folks because the quicker that we expose these frauds and the more people learn about how just fraudulent these folks are, the better off we'll be as a movement. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 